very, very quickly, but I want to give you a little taste of what everyone is hearing out here. Listen to that. If this doesn't look a lot like Christmas, I don't know what is. So we are going to be out here all morning long. But Leslie, back to you right now. Thanks, Yasmin. I agree with you. It looks and sounds just like Christmas. And of course, we want to remind you the Las Vegas Honda Dealers Association, Zippy Shell, and Webster Orthodontics are proud sponsors of 13 Action News and the 13 Days of Giving. Well, we'll be checking in with Yasmin, Beth, and Todd all morning long, especially when these kids start lining up to receive those gifts. But still to come. People in the house said they didn't know anything about it. A local family gets an unwelcome surprise after their traditional gifts from family never gets delivered. How the post office handled it and what you can do if this ever happens to you. And outside temperature is a little cooler today thanks to the cloud cover we have around. I'm going to let you know how long the clouds are going to last coming up in your 13th first alert. Yep. Hey everybody, we're down here at the Las Vegas Rescue Mission where we're getting ready to give away thousands of toys. I want you to meet all of our volunteers. Look, here's all of our volunteers. Woo! Look at this amazing line. Including these handsome gentlemen. Where do you think they're from? Basic High School. Basic High School. Basic high school. These are baseballers from Basic High School. What are you guys doing down here this morning? Uh, we help to volunteer every year to help and give back and it's definitely an eye opener for a baseball team and to uh, give back to the less fortunate. Right on, an eye opener. I love that basic high school. Woo, woo. I want you guys to meet these friends of mine. These friends of mine who have a restaurant here in town, their restaurant collected thousands of toys. Your restaurant in? Island Flavor. Island Flavor. Give them a big wave, Island Flavor. And then I want you guys to meet Dr. Webster, one of our Hi, sponsors. Good morning. Good it's morning. great to be out here, guys. So when you guys drove in, you told me you were overwhelmed. Overwhelmed, inspired. It's so great to see all the people that are going to be helped this morning and all the preparation that everybody in the community has made to help them out. Well, there are a lot of businesses that could help, but you did help. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. It was our pleasure. We just can't wait to see the smiles on the kids' faces today. Let's get it started, shall we? All right, let's open the gates, everyone. Let's see all these people. Are we going to Todd? All right, looks like they're going to toss to me instead. Looks like she's having a lot of fun out there, though. It's a good way to do that, having fun, giving out toys to all those kids. Um, decent weather to do it. Last year it was cold. Uh, I remember last year talking to them and it was cold this morning. It's chilly, but it's not nearly as cold. Temperatures mild, 47 degrees in Las Vegas, 32 on top of the mountain right now. We got the clouds around and they're going to be around throughout most of the day, so don't expect a lot of sunshine this morning. Maybe a peak of sun this afternoon. Not a lot of it. A little bit of green on that radar. Not a lot. These are just some sprinkles falling. So if you're driving to California today, um, you might run into a sprinkle or two. The roads are not going to be wet from this. We're just too dry at the surface. So if it is raining, it's evaporating before it hits the ground and maybe a little bit of flurry activity up in the mountains right now. And that will be the case uh, throughout most of the day. You can see the models kind of keeping the rain chance around even into the late morning. Afternoon, we got that wraparound moisture that could affect us. So a little bit of snow possible upper elevations and maybe a sprinkle here in the city. That's at best. I don't think we're going to see anything measurable with this, uh, but the clouds will be around most of the day. Another model indicates much drier than what the other model saw, but hey, it's bringing in that little bit of rain and maybe a little bit of uh, snow as well in the area. So something just to watch out for into the afternoon. Not a great chance of seeing anything though uh, by any means. 150 days is the longest we've ever been without measurable rain. We're currently sitting at 98 days. Longest without at least a drop of rain is 101. 
We're sitting at 93 right now. If we don't see rain today or this week, we're going to hit that 101 by next week. And by Christmas, we'll have the record. 42 today up on the mountain. Flurries are possible up there. Cooler tomorrow with the winds. Winterfest out at Trevelli Village today. It's going to be cool out there, but hey, it makes it feel like uh, Christmas time, right? Uh, or the holidays with the clouds around and cooler air. Today, we're going to see 60 in Las Vegas, 59 in Prim, 64 in Laughlin. Tomorrow, a little bit cooler, 57. Winds are going to be around clear skies, clear skies most of the week. But look at another system just in time for uh, winter with a high of 55 degrees. Thanks, Dan. Well, a local family is upset after their anticipated Christmas gifts were delivered to the wrong address. Deanne Russin says her and her family were waiting for this year's Christmas presents from a family member in Arizona. The cards were supposed to be delivered priority from USPS, but somewhere along the way, there was a mix up. The cards were delivered to a similar Las Vegas address on a different street. And when the carrier went back to get the mail, the people in that house said they had no idea about any of it. If you opened the front by mistake and once you got inside, you saw little kids names and their little kid cards, I would stop and go, whoops, this isn't for me. The postal office reimbursed the family for the missing gift cards, but there are a few things to take away from this story. If you have lost mail, see if you can find it through GPS first. Also, keep your receipts for postage and the content inside for any proof. Well, now to package thieves at your front door. But what happens when the person delivering those packages is the same person stealing them? ABC's Clayton Sandell has this story. In St. Pete Beach, Florida, the delivery man giveth. Yes. But a little later, that same delivery man taketh away. Watch again. At 5.37 p.m. Tuesday, police say UPS driver Jason Moan leaves a package for Javita Acute Parker on her porch, a $1,000 iPhone 10 inside. He must have seen that that had two cameras on the porch. But at 7.46 p.m., he's back, stuffing that same box under his shirt and taking off, wearing the same clothes minus that UPS vest. <laughs> Stupidest thief ever. <laughs> Police caught up with Moan and delivered him to jail, charging him with grand theft. UPS says Mr. Moan was a seasonal driver, not a permanent UPS employee. Upon notification of his arrest, UPS immediately terminated his employment. A record two billion packages will be delivered this holiday season. In Arizona, cameras caught this woman disguising herself as a postal carrier to steal deliveries. That alleged imposter still on the run. There is a way you can beat these porch pirates because Amazon now has these secure lockers in about 50 cities around the U.S. in places like this Whole Foods. Your package gets delivered here instead of your front porch, and you can pick it up while you shop for groceries. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver. Well, it is 817. We are going to go back out live to the Las Vegas Rescue Mission this morning. That's where Good Morning Las Vegas anchor Todd Quinones joins us live right now. Good morning, Todd. You there? Uh, good morning, Leslie. I hear you loud and clear. It is a fantastic morning. All of us here at Channel 13. We're so, so very proud to be a part of this morning. Take a look behind me here. An example of what this is all about. These are the kids here in the valley right now who are going to have a wonderful Christmas, all thanks to the generosity of our kind viewers. We're going to be live down here at the Las Vegas Rescue Mission all morning long, bringing you updates. It is a fantastic morning. I hope you stick around. We'll be right back after this. Well, good morning, Las Vegas. We're live here at the Las Vegas Rescue this morning for our 13 Days of Giving campaign. Today is the day that thousands of boys and girls here in the Valley, they're going to be receiving all of the gifts that so many of you have generously donated. There's a lot of volunteers out here. we got the guys uh, from Basic High School. Guys, you guys are out here last year. Talk about your involvement here and talk about why it's important to you to be here. Well, it's definitely an eye-opener for us, and we like to give back to less fortunate and uh, to show that we, lo we care for other people and to uh, see what we get for granted, for sure. And what is it like that moment when you're able to give these presents out to these families? What is that interaction like for you and, and what do you take from it? What do you learn from this? Uh, what I learn is that, I mean, that they don't get, yeah, they don't get what we have. Really so, it, right, hard, yeah, definitely, definitely uh, heartwarming for us to give back for them. 
Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. We do appreciate it. Take a look here. Uh, we have this line now. It's beginning to form. They're starting to allow people to come in. Now, we've been told that this line actually stretches all the way outside the Las Vegas Rescue Mission uh, and down to Washington. You see there, we had people online since 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, so we're talking about more than 3,000 families. That is a lot of people. That is a lot of lives. As so many of you uh, helped us make a difference this Christmas season. We can't thank you enough. For now, I'm going to toss it right back to, to Leslie. It's so good to see this here this morning, Todd. I am uh, definitely just you get to be there and see this, but just watching it from here is just so heartwarming. So thank you guys for being out there. Thank you for everyone who donated gifts. Thousands of kids will get a Christmas because of you. Well, when we return on Good Morning Las Vegas, still ahead this morning, the Republican tax bill appears to be finalized. We're looking into who could be saving thousands of dollars. out here at the Las Vegas Rescue Mission. I want to get out of the way to show you the uh, everyone who's out here helping make this possible, of course, including all of you, our amazing viewers who donated all the gifts and money to make all this possible and make the holidays a little better for hundreds and hundreds of kids. And that includes also our wonderful sponsors, including Zippy Shell, you guys were a part of this last year. Tell me why you wanted to be a part of it again this year. You know, it sounds a little cliche to say, but when you hand a gift to a child, near the holidays to see the look on their face and the look on their parents' face, it's all worth it. And you are making sure that it's not just the kids who are included this year. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing out here today. Well, we're slightly insane about our dogs. We <laughs> love our dogs at Zippy Shell, so we have Sierra. Mm -hmm. She's here to give away gifts right. to the kids. And, and very spirited. A table full of dog toys dog food uh, to give away because homeless families have pets too and this gives them an opportunity to give something to their dog or cat for Christmas. She's amazing. So we are taking care of everyone out here at the Las Vegas Rescue Mission with the toys. We have food. Again, we showed you all the carolers and we are having a great time out here, Leslie. Yasmin, you look to be having so much fun. I'm glad you brought your dog Winston out there. I saw him there. He looks to be having a good time. <laughs> oh, we'll Winston's have a great time. You're having a good time. Oh, well, <laughs> you know what? All these kids are going to get the Christmas that they've always wanted. The Christmas many of us get to know and are used to, they're going to have for maybe the first time in their life. So stay with us. We're going to be checking back in with Yasmin in just a bit. Well, still ahead this morning, the House Ethics Committee opening an investigation into embattled Nevada Democratic Congressman Ruben Kiwin, the lawmaker now facing multiple allegations of sexual harassment. Now, live from Las Vegas, this is 13 Action News. Good morning, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. We're live down at the rescue mission. This is our big day when we're giving away all the toys that our viewers have collected. This is Narita, one of the mamas down here collecting toys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sweet friend. Is this your crew? Yes, How? I have five kids. You have five kids. I'm missing one. You're missing one. Yes. What does this mean to you? It's a nice gift for my kids. That um, It's nice because I'm not working right now, only my husband. So they're happy to come in here. So I appreciate they give something at least for the kids, you know, so they can make it happy. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas and Feliz Navidad, okay. sweet you friend. Too. You care. have a bless your family, you this beautiful family. Much. That's one story. There are thousands down here. I'm going to climb under the rope because I want to show you guys after they get their toys, they come over here and we're giving away sweatshirts and blankets and socks to those families uh, who are maybe underdressed and might be cold out in this weather. Some more of our awesome volunteers from Basic High School uh, out here helping us out. So we're also trying to meet needs, not just presence, but also the needs of these children. Todd, let's toss it over to you. Well, Beth, we've been talking to so many families here. We see we have one mom here behind us. We see if uh, she could talk to us. Excuse me, mom. Hi. Hi. We're from Channel 13. How are you? We're, we're just talking to everyone in line here today. Uh, talk about this. These are your two beautiful children, I assume? Grandkids. Yes. Oh, grandkids. Wonderful. Yeah. So just to talk about what this uh, day means for you and your family. Um, it means it means a lot to have the kids out here enjoying themselves. Yeah. Who who are your who are your kids grandkids here? This is Trinity 
and this is Anaya. Trinity and Anaya. Well, thank you so much, girls. Merry Christmas. Uh, just one example here of the uh, countless families. We're talking about more than 3,000 families that will be out here this morning. And uh, Yasmin, you're also here. Yasmin, what do you got? watching Santa giving hugs to all the kids who are out here in line. Take a look, we have Santa and we have Frosty over there giving some sweet, sweet hugs to those little girls. So, oh my gosh, please take a look at this little boy with his arms out with Frosty. Oh my gosh, everyone is having such an amazing time out here and so much of that is because of our wonderful viewers and all these volunteers who came out here and it's all for those kinds of faces who are so happy to be a part of this. Let's see if we can uh, snag a quick interview with Santa, but I don't want to get into his picture right here. But this is why we've been doing all of this, to make all of these kids' holidays, make them smile and... It's amazing. It's amazing to be part of it. I, I don't want to be in the shot just because I want to show you all, everyone that's out here and how everything has come together. Santa, what is what has this been like for you? This is incredible coming from the North Pole for this trip. Wouldn't miss it. Opportunity Village does such a great job with all the kids down here. It's just been tremendous turnout so far. It's nice to see you all can make it here. I'm watching you on my list too. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be good. <laughs> All right. we'll, we'll know. We'll know. Thank you so much. You have a Merry Christmas and everybody out there, too. All right, Leslie, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> He's watching you, Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, well thank you so much you guys and of course the Las Vegas Honda Dealers Association, Zippy Shell and Webster Orthodontics are proud sponsors of 13 Action News and the 13 Days of Giving. Dan will be checking in with them all morning long. Thousands of gifts. They yes. said for 3,000 kids that line wrapped around the Las Vegas Rescue Mission this morning. It's just always good. We saw this last year, same turnout. It's good to see this. It's just yeah. the kids are smiling. It's a good time out It there. is their Christmas, so it is. that's good to see. But yes. you see everyone bundled up out there. You yes. see them with gloves and, and I'm questioning that a little bit myself because I'm like, it's somewhat mild outside, <laughs> at least for Vegas standards this time of year. But you know, it could be a yeah, little cool. Little yeah. Cool. Um, we had the clouds around, which got temperatures a little warm last night. And you you can see the clouds are around still this morning. They're not going anywhere. We're going to stay mostly cloudy, it looks like, through the day. A little bit of green. You can see that around I-15 in California. Yeah, a little bit of rain south of Vegas. Nothing around here. You see most of the moisture in Nevada hit the mountains. It stopped. But we could see a sprinkle in some parts of town as this system kind of lingers around throughout the rest of the day. Winds not too bad today in Las Vegas. Look what happens though today out towards the west and north. It's going to be a little breezy. Beatty, Tonopah, Pahrump. Wind advisory is in effect through tomorrow evening. We're just going to see winds pick up a little bit here in Las Vegas overnight tonight and through tomorrow morning and then die off into the afternoon. Just breezy, nothing out of uh, Vegas's normal standards, but we are going to see those gusts possibly up to 30. I'll let you know if more rain could be on the way and how uh, the first uh, couple days of winter looks like coming up in that seven day planner. Thanks, Dan. Well, breaking overnight, Metro Police telling us they are looking for two suspects who tied up a man and ransacked a business. It happened just before 11 p.m. at the Evolution Motorsports on Valley View near Twain. Police tell us two mass and armed suspects entered through the garage. The 40 year old man who was tied up managed to get to the alley after the suspects left. Police have not said what the suspects made off with, but the man did get some help and was not hurt. Well, Governor Brian Sandoval has announced he and his wife of 27 years are getting a divorce. In a statement, he says Kathleen and I have decided to separate and plan to divorce. It's no secret that the demand of public life is hard on a marriage and ours has been affected in a way neither of us had envisioned or ex expected. He went on asking for privacy at this time. Meanwhile, Republicans have released their final version of their tax bill, claiming they have the votes to pass it come next week. But leaders had to make adjustments to get their GOP colleagues on board. Natasha Chen explains how those details may affect your wallet come next year. I'm very excited about this moment. Republican leaders are one step closer to fulfilling a promise of passing tax breaks by Christmas. Americans deserve a new tax code for a new era of American prosperity. What it does is give corporations a big break by permanently cutting their tax rates from the current 35% down to 21%. 
You as an individual taxpayer will see some benefits too, like a doubling of the standard deduction, though that's set to go away after eight years. Your personal income tax rate may also lower by one or two percent, depending on how much you make. If you have kids, that child tax credit doubles to $2,000. If that credit is more than what you owe in taxes, you get to keep most of that extra money. That refund initially wasn't enough for Florida Senator Marco Rubio. I remain surprised that there uh, is not more consensus to support the reality that we need to do more to help working people in this country. But an increase in the refund brought him on board Friday. Oh, we're working. Senator we're Bob Corker really also made a late decision to say yes, saying it's imperfect, but that we're better off with the bill. I think that we are going to be